Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in forever. So I thought it was about time and also I normally do uh, tutorials where I don't talk while I do the stuff. I just do a voiceover later. So this time I'm, I thought I would just talk through the video and just tell you what I do and tell you stuff yeah <laughs> uh, but yeah first of all I'm gonna start priming my face and I'm gonna use this one this is the Becca backlight priming filter and I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my face with this this primer I actually bought it in um, in LA and I've heard so um, so much about this primer so I thought I would try it out and see if it's as good as everyone say it is So it's definitely very glowy and feels very good on my skin. You guys, I don't know what has happened to my skin, but it is so tired from all the traveling and it's just, I don't know, I think my skin has given up. So for foundation, I'm gonna use this one right here. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I haven't used this foundation in a very long time, so I thought it was about time to try it again. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this big fancy brush right here. I haven't tried it before, but it is from Eloise Beauty. So yeah, and it looks really fancy, so I hope it's good. I really don't know how to use brushes with my foundation because I always use my um, my beauty blender, so I never use brushes anymore for foundation. Okay, so let's try it. No, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use my beauty blender instead. This was hard. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'm gonna use my uh, Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade in the color dark brown. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right Okay, so now over to the eyes. I'm gonna use this beautiful palette right here. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette and I am obsessed with the colors. I think it's just the most beautiful palette ever. It is so warm and it's like exactly my type of colors. It is very similar to the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia and that one is my absolute favorite. So uh, this is my type of type of shades and this is the first time me using this palette so I'm really excited to see how they work and how they blend and yeah I'm just excited to try it out so I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here to start off and um, set my um, eyes I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my lid So now I'm gonna grab this shade right here. This is called the Shy. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this in my crease and just kind of use this as my transition shade. Ooh, they blend very nice. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one right here. This is called Suede. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this in uh, my outer V. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my fluffy brush and blend it out. So I don't have any harsh edges or anything. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some of that suede on my fluffy brush as well. And also just buff it in. And now over to the fun part, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here. This one is called Rose Gold and it is very textured and very beautiful colors. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger with this and just pop it on my lid. Woo! 
so pigmented and so beautiful. Yes, I love this shade. And it looks so cool on the lid. It looks so metallic and just... It was very hard to uh, try to use a brush with this because I couldn't... I can't pick up anything. But I guess it's because it's so textured and thick. Yes, I love this shade. So pretty. Love it! Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here. This one is called Moon Dust, and it is kind of like sh a shimmer shade, but not as shimmery as these one, these ones. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this right underneath my brow. For eyeliner, I'm gonna use this one right here. This is the Epic Ink Liner from NYX, and this one is actually new. I just got it, so I'm super excited to try it, and oh my gosh, it is so, oops, it is so thin. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can because I'm so far away, uh, but it is super thin, so I think it's gonna be a really good one. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a wing. I don't know, should I do a thick one or a thin one? Something in between, I think. I'm gonna at least try <laughs> to bring my mirror a little bit closer. This is so hard because like, you want it to be so perfect because I really like my eyeshadow right now, so I want my liner to be on fleek, but <sighs> I need to take a deep breath and try to make it right. Ooh, I love this liner. So for lashes, I'll be using these lashes right here. They're called Samantha and they're from Huda Beauty. Ta-da! So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these on and I'm using the Huda Beauty lash glue. This one is the dark one. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these on. This is actually the first time that I'm using lashes from Huda Beauty. I've heard so uh, much good things about them, so so much good things, so many good things, I guess. I don't know, whatever. But I've heard a lot of good things about these lashes, so I'm really excited to try them out. They look really pretty so far, and they apply really easily. And the lash glue, actually, I, I did try the lash glue a few days ago, and I actually really like the lash glue. It stays on really, um, for a really long time and also uh, it's fast drying so I like that you don't have to like wait forever for it to dry so yes yeah, success I remember before when I used to be so bad at applying lashes it would take me forever like it would literally take me like a half an hour to apply my lashes but now it's a piece of cake. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. This one is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this just like to connect the uh, fake lashes to my real ones. So now I think we can move on to the face. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply concealer and I'm gonna use this one right here. This one is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. And um, I just bought this, so it's brand new. Uh, and I did use this one time, but then I didn't like it. I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this another shot and see what is up with this concealer. It is very thick though. I can't get it out. Ugh. There's this little sausage coming out. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this with my fingers. Just a little bit under my eyes. Sorry if you hear any noises in the background, it's just my dog playing, I don't know. Oh my gosh, he's playing with my self-tanning mitt. Um, but it's clean, so it's okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my beauty blender and just spray it with Fix Plus. Okay, 
Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this powder for baking. I got this one at IMAT and I'm super excited to try this out. Uh, I've heard so many good things about this, so yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my beauty blender. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and wait a few minutes and then I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this off. Then I'm also gonna uh, use the same powder to set my entire face. And when you put powder all over your face, it's gonna be a lot easier for the other powders to blend and look flawless. So that's a thought to keep in mind. Then your contour won't end up blotchy and patchy and all that. Okay. Okay, so now let's move on to contour! And I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, contour kit and I'm gonna use this shade right here. This is the color Fawn, I think. Yeah, and I'm gonna use the shade to contour with. And then for bronzer, I'm gonna go ahead and use this bronzer right here. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a large brush and just apply this all over my um, forehead, like around my forehead, not all over, but yeah. So when we were in LA, we got the NYX Cosmetics Snapchat and me and Evelina were supposed to like introduce ourselves and say our name and where we're from and stuff like that. So Evelina went first and she was like, oh, I'm Evelina from Sweden and then, and then, and then I went and I don't know what happened, but I said, hi, I'm Carolina from Sweden. And I didn't even know that I said it until the next day when um, someone told me <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> Why did I do that? Uh, but the funny thing is that before then, like a day before or something, uh, I also was, was supposed to like introduce myself on the NYX Nordics uh, um, Snapchat and Evelina went before me that, that time too. And I, I don't know, I just, I think I think too much. And when it was my turn, I was like, oh, I'm Evelina from Norway. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I don't even know what ha is going through my head uh, when I'm talking, so it's just so dumb. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, I'm not from Sweden, I'm from Norway, so it was kind of dumb that I said from Sweden, so yeah. And my name is Carolina, so. People must think I'm really stupid. I don't know, I think too much and then I say stupid things. Okay, so now back to eyes, we're gonna finish it up. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here first. As before, this is called Shy, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this right underneath my lash line. And actually, I think I'm gonna skip uh, putting mascara on the lower lashes because I don't feel like I need it. No, I'm just gonna leave it like that. So for highlight, I'm gonna use this NYX Duo Chromatic Highlighter in the color Snow Rose. And I don't know if you can see, but it kind of, it's kind of like a gold, pinkish kind of highlight, and it's beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the tops of my cheeks. I'm gonna apply a little bit on the tip of my nose and also my cupid's bow. So for lips, I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the color Bombshell and yeah. And last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my MAC Fix Plus and I'm just gonna go ahead and spritz it all over my face. Mm, yes. 
So that was actually it for this rose gold type of a look. It's perfect for Valentine's Day or if you're going out to party or to dinner or whatever. Uh, and yeah, I actually really like it. I actually really love this palette too. I think it's so pretty. Like the colors are so beautiful and the, the pigmentation is really good. And especially these shades right here are just oh, to die for. I love them. Like this one, I have just watched it. It's so pretty. Like look at it. It's so pretty. I just, I, I can't, I can't even. Uh, I love this palette. I'm actually really surprised how good it is. It blends really easily and it's just a really good palette and the colors are so good. But uh, I shouldn't be surprised because it's all over Instagram and YouTube and everything. So <laughs> I don't know, but it's it's a really good palette. And also I did try out the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick for the first time and I actually really like that one as well. It feels very comfortable and it's it doesn't crack like most other liquid lipsticks. And the lashes are all so new that I just tried out and I really like them as well. And the NYX products that I tried, the Duo Chromatic Highlight, it is so pretty, I love it. And also the, um, where is it? Oh yeah, the Epic Ink Liner is really good. It's so easy to use and it's so sharp. I love it. Did I try anything else today that was new? Oh yeah, the, the Creaseless Concealer, I don't know yet. I haven't made up my mind on this concealer yet. It looks okay, but I don't know if you can tell, like where I applied the concealer, like it was really hard to make like the two shades blend. So it kind of looks like really sharp right there and not as smooth, if that makes sense. But I don't know, maybe I'm just not using it the right way and maybe I just should use less product, I don't know. But I'm still gonna try, try this product until I like it. But yeah, I really, really hope you like the tutorial too. I hope it wasn't too chatty, like, because I, I know most of my tutorials are, like, not as chatty as this one, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I really hope you like this um, tutorial. Let me know if you want more of these um, Get Ready With Me's where I talk throughout the video instead of doing voiceovers and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!